Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me of a cute three of the bi weekly contest 93 Frog Jump 2. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, I actually saw a, a better solution to this, but I'm gonna go over what I did during the contest. Um, and you can kind of prove that it converges to that, but I'm gonna, uh, yeah. The first thing to that I noticed is that um, the, the N is pretty big, so you have to be really careful. You can't do anything N square, like dynamic programming and such like that. Um, and then the second thing is that stones could be really far apart, so you have to be careful about overflows and stuff like that in general. Um, so the the TLDR uh, that I did is that I binary search on the answer. Basically, I go, okay, is, is it possible to have... Uh, maximum length be five right and and is it possible to have it with 10 or whatever so that's basically the idea um and the hard part of course i mean that part is easier to say and if you're a little bit of a beginner i'm sorry that i'm kind of hand hand wavy a little bit over this part just due to the fact that you know um you know uh, uh i think there are a couple of other leak code problems and I have a lot of videos on binary search, so definitely sort those out about the binary search on the solution type thing. But the hard part, or the harder part, uh, other than recognizing that you binary search on the answer, is how to figure out, okay, now that you have a possible answer, what do you do? Well, for me, what I did was I just did greedy. And what I mean by that is that, let's say we can jump nine spaces, or we're testing for jumping nine spaces. What I do is that I just go as far as I can. It is what it sounds like, really. There's no... Um, um, as far as you can, and, be, and you may wonder what if we need, like the tricky part that I had to re recognize and prove a little bit to myself is what do you, what if you need the, the stone coming back, right? Um, well, the thing is that if you need the stone coming back, then you can't really go forward in that way anyway, right? Because you can imagine it as like, um, actually kind of like this one where, you know, you're, you're jumping overlapping in a way, right? Um, I don't know if I'm... Um, let me bring up paint, I guess, real quick. Um, what I mean by that is that um, it, it it doesn't mix. So basically, if you have something like this where you can jump from here, but you may need this to come back, well, then and there's some other thing where um, this is this is always more optimal than uh, this, right? Um, eh, maybe or given an X. So if the, if coming back is not possible, then maybe it's not binary searchable anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically the logic, and that's basically what I implemented. Um, yeah. So this is the binary search portion. It looks very standard. If you're familiar with binary search, again, I'm not going to go over it in this problem. But and this is the greedy portion where I just check whether uh, the the fog jump is good. Um, basically, I just go as far as I can, and if if I cannot find any stones to jump to, then I return negative or I return false, meaning that it's not possible. Um, and yeah, and that's basically the idea. And then I I check the stones that I used, and on the way back I just go. But yeah, but there is some symmetry about using the stone that is coming back that I talked about because otherwise um, you can also prove that. Oh, I think I yeah. Yeah, because you can and show that um, if you like, you can also show that like if you need to go to this stone, then it's, it's the same as this thing anyway, right? Just has the same width or whatever, right? So that's basically the the idea that kind of sets me off on a proof on why this is right. Um, so th this is going. So what's the complexity, right? Well, here this is going to be all of log r, say where r is the range. Uh, which is like 10 to the 9 or something. Um, and here, this is going to be linear time, O of n, right? So in, in total, this is... Oops. In total, this is O of n log r, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, there's also an easier solution uh, that I, I just noticed, but... Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Someone in my Discord actually had this uh, beautiful one, and I just copy and paste. So give a shout out to VJ from my Discord. Um, but but yeah, it's just basically the answer has to be the the distance between two adjacent stones because you're always gonna um, the best route is 
just hopping between two stones, I guess. Um, I guess I could see it, but I don't know the. I don't know if I've been able to prove it and be confident about it. But that said, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it would have saved me a lot of time, so I don't know, right? But uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know, and this is obviously linear time in your space, so even better. Um, that's all I have for this one. So let me know what you think, um, and you could watch me solve it live in the contest now. I'm out. I don't even. Okay. <sighs> So many conditions. Oh well, silly mistakes already. Let's try that. Okay. Man, these are hard problems. Like, what is this case? I think it's binary search for this. I don't know how to quite get there. Like to go and get, like we only go there, then that's easy. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it's just greedy. Okay, fine. We'll see. Oh, man. My typing is really bad today, too. Oh, jeez. Maybe this looks good. Oh, oh, it's outside, I suppose. Okay, then which one is already spawned? Okay, so then how far do we want to jump? <coughs> In case, I guess.
just don't sip steam as well, so I'll go for it. So uh, bad. Okay, so if else not even thing. No, I don't know. Well, give us spin. Six is not quite right. Oh, I didn't check for the last one. Okay, seven and nine, a little bit better, but maybe not. Uh, hmm. Well, seven is definitely right, but why not five? So obviously, I think the team. Um, this is the worst bit. Probably here, because this is the frame that changed the answer. So, is zero. Oh, I see. I have to do this iteration one more time first. Wait, even. Oh, no, that's what I did. That's from the last time. Uh, I guess I didn't really need this then. Just need to do this to make it like one. I, do, I need to handle it differently, but I wrote a different code. Five is good. Nice. But now I have five for the other one, which doesn't really make sense. Oh, well, it's not that it doesn't make sense. It's just that I did it stupidly. Five, nine, okay. Now let's get rid of all these things before they make me time out with something stupid. Is this right? I don't know. Is there a negative one answer? I guess it's always possible.
not super confident about this one to be honest. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this video, this contest, everything uh, in between. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.